Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today uh, it is a beautiful sunny day. It's actually partly sunny I guess you could say. There's some there's some nice white fluffy clouds as you can see and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to uh, try out this called Sun 100 watt flexible solar panel right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into this uh, Blue Eddy AC50B and uh, I'm going to try to uh, basically charge this thing while I'm cooling down my ice co, which shouldn't be a problem. But then I also want to charge up my power bank here, which can accept well over what this thing can deliver. You know what? And I also want to charge up my phone. So I want to just see if this solar panel, basically a 100 watt solar panel, can power all of this stuff for the next couple hours and charge this thing up to 100%. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to open up this call sun. All right, and when you open it up, you'll see some styrofoam pieces that kind of keep the panel in place. And there is also a, uh, a, a very short user's manual. All right, after I got all these out of the way, you basically could just pull the panel out. There we go. And there's really nothing fancy that comes with this panel. It's just the packaging, a small user's manual that gives you the basic information of the panel and the panel itself. You can see that here is the front of the panel. Looks like, what, 11 bus bars between each cell, like in the cells. And then we have our MC4 connections right up here, right on the top. Uh, there's also grommet holes. It looks like there's three per side. So you can kind of strap it down to whatever you need. All right, and it does say that the cell type is uh, 182 11 bus bar monocrystalline silicone PERC. It's an IP68 rated, so it can just sit outside forever. It's dust and waterproof. Uh, like I said before, the MC4 connections. The dimensions are, uh, uh, it looks like 1,111 millimeters long, and then it's 620 millimeters across, and it's about 25 millimeters thick at the top, so probably they're probably counting this right here and that's give or take two millimeters uh, when it comes to like the, the voltage and the amperage maximum power voltage is 18.6 maximum power current is 5.39 and that gives you an open circuit voltage of 21.17 and a uh, short circuit current of 5.9 maximum system voltage is 600 volts and max overcurrent is 10 amps and it does say all of that information on the back of the panel too, so you don't have to worry about, you know, keeping that manual in some sort of safe place. And like I said before, this is flexible, so you can flex it, you know, almost to 180 degrees in either direction. Uh, you know, it's not going to fold up like a paper towel or anything like that, but it is very flexible. All right, we got the positive and negatives untwisted. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it to this uh, MC4 to XT60 connector. I'll need this to connect to my uh, AC50B. And what I like about MC4 connections is there's no way of screwing it up. You just connect, you just connect the male to the female on one side and on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and put that Blue Eddy uh, app on the screen so you can see what it's being drawn right now. You can see that the Ice Co refrigerator is drawing right around 60 watts from the AC. Now I chose the AC because I wanted to kind of pull as much as possible, even though 60 watts really isn't that big of a deal. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the DC side. There we go, you can see it's on on the app. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this X100 power bank and get it charged up. All right, you can see on the app that we're starting to pull from the DC side now. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and start charging up my phone. Now this AC50B, it can only power uh, 65 watts through its USB-C ports. So I'm actually pulling around 61.5 watts into this, and my phone is accepting uh, probably another seven or eight watts. So right now we're pulling about 127 watts from the unit. So let's go ahead and plug in the solar panel and start actually giving it some juice. Plugged in the solar panel. And now you can see the PV starting to go up as well. I said it's partly cloudy, so we are gonna get some intermittent uh, shading on this, but hopefully 
this thing will be able to power all of this down to, you know, I set this, if I think, for 33 degrees Fahrenheit. I wanted to charge up this power bank and I wanted to charge my phone. And right now the PV, look at that. The PV, we're getting 101 watts out of a flexible solar panel. This is a 100 watt panel. So it is actually overproducing and it's just laying flat on the ground. That is awesome. I love that. Yeah, right now we're getting 99 watts. See, if I put a little bit of shade on one of the bars, let's see how bad it does. See, look at that. It drops it down to 45, 50 watts. And that's just with that little bit of shading right there. So that's what, I mean, shading just wipes out solar panels. But man, when they're in full sun, look at that, 94, 95. This panel was pretty cool also. So as it warms up in the sun, I'm sure that our, our, uh, our wattage is gonna go down a little bit. And I just wanna show you again how easy that was. I just pulled this panel out of the box. I had never even opened it. I just had a couple of MC4 connectors. And with my Blue Eddy, I actually got uh, XT60 to MC4 connections. So it's just connecting those up, which is a breeze, and connecting it right to the unit. And like I said, like I said before, this is giving me 96 watts going right into this unit. And that is able to give me uh, the cooling capacity for this ice cold refrigerator. It's powering up this power bank and it's charging my phone all at the same time. All right, and see, and now look at that. I'm not sure when that happened, but the ice coke refrigerator is now down to temp. So it is sitting, uh, it's not pulling any, any power anymore. So we're actually still uh, charging the DC devices with 66 watts, but we're getting 96 watts from the panel. So this Blue Eddy will start charging back up to 100%. You know, and that's what I truly love about this solar stuff. You don't see any other cords. You don't see any other cords besides the panel, the power station, and the stuff that is charging and powering. There's no charge, you know, there's no extension cords going into my house, which is a good 60 feet away. Uh, that's what you can expect if you, if you start working with solar panels and power stations and everything like that. So I'm going to leave this out for a little bit. I'm gonna wait probably another hour to see what all happens, but I'm hoping that my phone and that power bank will charge up to 100%. Then the only thing left is uh, what needs to be charged in the power station itself. And everything should be nice and cold when it comes to the refrigerator. And everything should be at 100% just because of this one flexible solar panel. All right, well, it has been about one hour since I uh, started this test, I guess you could say. Again, the clouds are exactly the way they were before. Uh, kind of intermittent. It's you know partly sunny, which is it's just a beautiful day, and it is uh, 75 degrees outside. So you really couldn't ask for better weather. Now let's go ahead and look at the uh, Blue Eddy app. All right, you can see right now that we're still pulling 88 watts, even though it's uh, a little hazy now. Everything else is pretty much zero besides uh, the DC which is like one to five watts. And that is just my phone being powered right now. The ice co refrigerator has stayed at 33 degrees Fahrenheit. My X100 power bank went from 53% up to 100% with no problem. And my phone was at 46% and now it is sitting stable at 85%. And you can see that the Blue Eddy is still at 93% of its capacity. So. It's gone down like what, maybe 1% since we started this test. It's been running all of this stuff. And now that all of this is charged up, we can just concentrate on charging the Blue Eddy. And I truly believe that this Blue Eddy will be charged up, you know, in the next hour. And that's all because of this Call Sun 100 watt solar panel. So if you have any questions about the Call Sun 100 watt flexible solar panel, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.